What's up, YouTube? How's it going? You know the drill by now. I'm Chatty Kathy. What I don't have is a good intro. What I do have is caffeine, video games, and today we have a demo for Sushi for Robots. There's a super good sale on Steam right now called the Cerebral Puzzle Showcase. I believe it's from August 3rd through August 7th. Um, lots of good games and demos on there. I did add a bunch to my wish list. I'm up to 51 games on my wish list now. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. Full disclosure, I did go through Spring First already on my own. I was checking audio and making sure it was an interesting game, but uh, apologies. We'll go through the rest together. Um, welcome to the demo of Sushi for Robots, a game still in development. Why do robots love sushi? Where are the humans? Did robots exterminate them? Those are unimportant questions. Hey, there's a voice here saying we exterminated something called a human. Still trying to figure out camera placement. Right now, it's blocking the text. We'll try there. I didn't say that. I was just trying to explain the backstory. It wasn't that important. I didn't exterminate any humans. Sounds like somebody that exterminated some humans. No, you see, what I meant was... Why are we listening to this dumb voice anyway? Er, well, that's it. Sushi for robots, everyone. Please enjoy our demo. Perfect. Let's go ahead and jump into Spring 2. You're the new manager of this sushi restaurant for robots. Make sure each robot gets a dish that matches their color. To do so, drag a sticker from the table and drop it in an empty place of the conveyor belt. Then press play. Okay, um, from the table, I'm assuming it's this. Empty space in the conveyor belt. Would it be these quirks? Like, no, okay, empty space. Um, Let's put it right here and press play and see what happens. Okay, that guy's happy. <gasps> it changes color. Okay, okay. So wait, the sticker makes it turn into a pink one. Okay, so we don't want to put it there because this guy will want yellow. So I'm assuming they're just going to grab the sushi whenever they get the right color in front of them. So if we put it here, you know what I mean? The purple one will keep going and turn into pink, but the yellow triangle will go to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just go right on down the list. Go on to spring three. Um, it's interesting. We unlocked six, seven, eight, nine, but not four. See that timer in the top right corner? Yeah. <laughs> That's the maximum amount of moves the dishes can make before the clients get angry. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This one wants yellow. This one's going to want purple. Okay, so we already have two pink. We need to change one of the yellow ones to be purple. So. We can't put purple here because this will just turn purple. I mean, we could turn it right back to pink again. So like, what if we do this and then change it pink again down here? How would that work? This would turn purple, this would turn purple. The yellow ones would be fine. I think that works. Oh. Okay, wait. These are steps. Okay, so it's not how many times they turn colors. It's how many steps they take. Oh, can I? Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. We don't get... Okay, we can't put yellow here, but we could put yellow here. And then we could put pink here. And then purple here. Uh, maybe purple there. So this one doesn't have to go all the way down here. That's smarter. Let's try that. We got it. We got it. Okay. Spring four. Time to introduce a new tool for our restaurant. Brown stickers can't be placed on the conveyor belt. You must place them on the floor and they'll affect nearby dishes. Okay. This sticker is called the bridge. It can connect two parts of the belt separated by a small gap. 
Ooh, like from here to here, maybe? So, like if we go like that, and then will it go that way? Let's test that. It does. Okay, perfect. Um, that won't work. <laughs> this works. Beautiful. Just in time. Uh, this might be like a little story. So, have you heard about anatidaphobia? No. You've been talking about this nonstop for days. But it's so cool. Wait, what's that? It's the fear that somewhere, somehow, a duck is watching you. What? That's hilarious. No way, that's an actual thing. Oh, it is. They made me look it up. Well, now I want to look it up. But ducks aren't scary. They totally are. Birds used to be like huge lizards. Sure, and how did they? How did that change? I read a post about it. They rearranged their pieces over thousands of years. <laughs> like they were robots. Okay, you're definitely making that up. That's what they want you to believe. I'll send you the links tomorrow. I want to look up this anatidaphobia. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Duck phobia. Is it a real condition? Oh my gosh. It says it's a fictional phobia created for entertainment, but I feel like if there's people out there that are afraid of that, then that makes it a real phobia, right? I'm sure there's one person out there. Ooh, no instructions, just gaming. Okay. We have a lot going on here. So, if we put this here, it's just gonna loop in a circle, right? Yeah, that's not, that's not helpful. Oh, what would something like this do? So where does this go? It just jumps, oh, they disappear if they jump on top of each other? Okay, good to know, good to know. It seems like also this guy could grab sushi from here or here. And this one could grab sushi from either spot. So that's nice. Um, we do need sushi that's going to jump up here. Maybe if we put this here, the sushi would go around here and we could put a yellow sticker here. Mm, but we only have one yellow sticker. So that's not a good idea. Um... Maybe it turns yellow here. Then this one would turn yellow before it gets here. And we could have something else pass by. Hmm. I want this one to jump down, but I don't. This, we only have up and we only have right. There's three spots, four spots here, I guess, technically, where we can have these bridges go. Doing this, I don't think would be helpful. Um, unless you go like that, actually. This is probably worth something. There's no reason for anything to go up here. Up could work here. No, up won't work there. So up has to go here because up can't go there. We'll just narrow it down that way. Up has to go here. So this one is going to go up here. Would this be helpful? What if we do this? I just want to see what happens. Okay. So if we put yellow here and purple here. Ooh, just in time. Okay. Okay, we're figuring it out. We're chugging right along. Spring 7. All right. There's a lot going on here. We have different sushi belts. We're going to have to make them, like, jump to the other one. Okay, so is this a line? Like, we'll have to get pink sushi to this cork? Is that what we're calling these? So this guy will get sushi, and then the next one in line will get sushi as well. But what we could do is this. Ooh, let's do this. 
have them pass this way and then this and then this oh no that won't work it would have to go all the way around in order to get back there um can we just pass it directly to them i want to test that no it doesn't work okay we could put yellow right here and pink right here how do we only get one sushi to go this way then one two three four five six seven that's way too many steps can they jump directly to there is that an option yes oh if we make it pink beforehand duh 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 Cutting it close there, but we got it. Spring eight. 14 moves for this one. Okay. They're already yellow. We don't have a way to turn them back into yellow. So we need to do purple at the last second. Obviously, this is a long way around. So what we could do, we could have a jump here. Make the other ones jump. Is that helpful? Then we could go like this. See where that gets us. Okay, we got one. If we go like this. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, so we can't chain the bridges. Okay. So we could have them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If I counted right, I don't think that'll work. Shortcut here won't work. <gasps> yeah, it would, because it would just loop back up. Oh, I like that. Do I have an extra piece or am I missing something? Oh, we do want one of them to get up here, though. Maybe they're in line for this one. That'd be really nice if it works that way. Oh, there's a fast forward button. It does not work that way. I'm a very let's test it and see what happens and then make adjustments later person. So we're going to try it that way. Ooh, was not expecting it. I forgot it would jump across there. So that is not an option. Um, what if you do this? Which one does it pick? Which way will it go? Neither one? It doesn't go either way. The sushi's like, there's too many options. I give up, I quit. Um, I kind of forgot this was an option. So we need two to be yellow. If we put a four-way bridge here, this does separate two of them. But if we get them to be yellow, and then this one is the one that we will make purple by going like right here. We'll see if this takes too many steps. 12, 13. Oh, no, I left that one there. Um, I'm sorry, purple dude. We're trying. Let's see. I still feel like this is a good idea. This separates two sushi and one sushi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We really don't have to move this first one at all, actually. It'll make it there in time. That's really interesting. That is truly intriguing. I didn't think about doing that. Okay, that did turn them all purple. Oh, we'll just turn purple down there. Do I have enough moves? Oh my god. We were on the right track the whole time. We were so close. Okay, spring nine. I need a timer to actually see how long these take me. That was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, okay, what are we working with? We have a pink and a purple sticker and we have two uh, four-way bridges. Let's see, two purple robots, but only one purple sushi. A pink robot and a yellow robot. So we need to turn one of the yellow ones into purple. But really we could change something into pink. 
why would we change something into pink if we already have a pink? It's because these are going to be purple. Ten bucks. We need this dude to turn pink. But not the yellow one. So if we put it after this spot... Man, if this was just an up arrow, that'd be so nice. Let's see what happens for this. How far we get it. I mean... Yeah, yeah, we don't make it. Let's have him cut this corner. You're gonna make it! Oh, no, I forgot about this. Uh, shoot. If we do this, this one will cut straight down, and then this one will go up. <gasps> Beautiful! Yay! Okay. Yay, another little comic. So have you watched anything lately? Yeah, there's the show where the protagonist solves crimes with the help of their pet mushroom. I'm hooked. Ooh, what could that be? So is it good? Oh no, not at all. It's terrible. I'm having such a great time watching it. Hate watching. I'm confused. Do you think it's horrible, but you watch it either way? Yep. But there are better things to watch. Definitely, it's just that I feel like watching this, and I can enjoy it even if the quality isn't great. Should I watch it? I wouldn't recommend it. If you do start, don't blame me. But if you become a fan, you must let me know. Okay, you're not making a lot of sense right now, but I might give it a try. Woo! Spring 11. We should try something new. Oh no. <laughs> There, these are portals. You know how it goes. You place both of them so she goes through one and appears on the other. Okay, okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. Those will actually probably come in handy a lot. Okay. We need one of these to turn yellow. Oh, either one can eat from here. Ooh. Nice. Easy. Spring 13. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley lately. Uh, spring 13 is the flower dance, I think. Okay. Oh, we have different colored portals. Okay. Okay, we need one of these to be yellow. So let's just go ahead and make that one yellow. Um, and what if we do something like this? Oh, don't do that. The portals work both ways. Two purple first. Let's just send them straight on through. And that would be cool. This one would need to turn yellow. What happens if we do this? They're just gonna get stuck in that. We don't want that. If we do this, is that too many steps for this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that might be exactly eight. We just had to think about it a little. Spring 14, this is Haley's birthday in Stardew Valley. The best spouse. You can debate me in the comments. I love her. Okay, we have four tracks here. Um, we don't want any of these to stay purple. We need three yellow and one pink. We have seven steps, that's not very many. What if instead we put the portal down here? That one will jump across, get sent in the portal, but if anything comes this way, it's gonna get circled around. So that's not good, we don't want that. What if we do this? Will, okay, so when the purple sushi goes through this, will it go up or will it jump across to the right? Let's see. It jumps across to the right, okay. What if we send this pink one? So then these purple would come through. We can make them jump up top. Feed those two. We should turn it yellow. Oh, we have this guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What if we do this? Purple will come through and go one, two. One will get eaten. So this one will go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. That's not gonna work, but let's. This guy just wants to eat. Let's reset. But if we send them this way. We were so close. We need this one to turn yellow instead. So like that. Oh. Woo. Spring 15. Oh, they're already here. Go on, read the script. You've reached the end of our demo. The game will come out in quarter two of 2023. There are a bunch of things we need to polish before that. The final game will have over 60 levels and quite a few narrative scenes like this one. Thanks a lot for playing the game. Please wish list us. That's perfect. Right, now where's the free sushi I was promised for saying all of this? Oh, that was a cute game. I liked it. Those were challenging puzzles. I definitely got stuck on some of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye.